On the example with the authentication, I just show you to sign up. Of course, you would have to create a second form, which will be about login. Because if we look at the documentation and here on the user management side of the documentation on API docs on the left, we can see that we've got a user signup method that we used, but also we got down there a user login. So of course you would have to use a second form. I didn't do it in the template, but you can do it. Which is really cool with Superbase is that the user management is super easy. You have several ways to sign up or log in your users. And basically we've got here a quick explanation. Superbase makes it easy to manage your user. Superbase assigns each user a unique ID. You can reference this ID anywhere in your database. This is why we created before on the tables listen a column with user ID. Because when we will log in as a user, we will get our ID and we will store it into our context, into our session. And we will be able actually to use this user ID to fetch data from the tables. So here we got the user ID that is available. Okay, so what we can do, we can sign up. We already saw it before. We can log in with email and password. We can log in with magic link via email. So this is really the, my favorite feature of Superbase is that you don't need to worry about uh, storing uh, cryptic passwords or stuff like this, which is a very bad practice uh, in my opinion. But what you can do here with Superbase is just to log in via email and it's really easy. So how does it work? Because I get this question all the time. Well, actually, you send a user a passwordless link, which they can use to redeem an access token. After they have clicked on the link, all interaction using Superbase GS client will be performed as that user. And which is cool is that you don't need to code your own system to store your um, access token inside the cookie or in uh, local storage or whatever. You don't need to do it. The SDK is going to do it for you, which is really, really easy to handle. And at the same time, it's really pleasant because with the on odd state change uh, method that we are going to see just after again, uh, it's going to work by itself. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to write extra code like all the time, which is boring and you save a lot of time. You can also sign up with phone and that's a cool feature. You can log in via SMS. You can verify an SMS. And down there, you get also other option to get the user to um, actually to get a forgotten password email that we are going to see after. Update your own user up here. However, to get more information about the user, you would not store them here, uh, but in a table, um, in a third table, like a profile table, for instance. And you've got, of course, the logout there. So if I get back to my application and if I update. Okay. What we can see is that actually every time I'm logged in, my on odd state change function is sending me to the main, uh, actually to the main page. So what we would like to do is to sign out. So you can use all those functions to create your own uh, system. You can uh, either uh, propose the option to, for the user to invite other users down there. Me, what I want to do, I want to log out. So I got this header up there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just create this quick function called logout. So it's going to be, actually it's going to be sign out, which will be an asynchronous function. And it will be triggered on click on uh, this button sign out. So here I got sign out, there we go. So I got my Superbase instance, which is there. So I'm going to import. Superbase from actually here at Superbase. There we go. And what I just need to do is to go here and to copy paste this piece of code. So I'm going to move this this way. There we go. I'm just going to copy paste this. So I'm going to put here my uh, sign out. I'm not going to handle anything. It's just to show you. I finally implemented the authentication system that I wanted. I have the login form and I got the sign-up form. So right now I'm an existing user, so I'm gonna click on login. And what's happening there is that I arrive on my application and I'm logged in. Now I'm going to click on sign out 
up there. And when I click on sign out, there we go, I'm logged out. So I can try to go on any page I want, it's not going to work. You can find this template in the description. We see that with Superbase, we've got a very easy user management system that helps us to implement the authentication that we want.